Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Sales Tax page in QuickBooks Online Plus contains the Sales Tax Center, which lets you run sales tax reports and view sales tax information. To open the Sales Tax page, hover over the Taxes link in the navigation bar, and then click the Sales Tax link in the side menu that appears to open the Sales Tax page to the right. If you are using the Auto Sales Tax feature in QuickBooks, then in the Sales Tax page, you can see the current sales tax due for the selected periods and taxing agencies. To show sales tax information from a selected tax agency for a tax period date, select the Agency from the Select an Agency dropdown, and select the Period from the Tax Period Date dropdown. The sales taxes by period and their statuses appear at the bottom of the page. The statuses can include paid, open, due, and overdue. You can click the View Tax Return link at the right end of any period to show its related return status with instructions on how to record the sales tax return if needed in a new window that opens. To view the sales tax liability report for the period in this window, Click the View Tax Liability Report link at the bottom of this window. This report shows the total amount of sales tax collected for the period selected. You can close this window after you finish using it. Alternatively, to view sales tax reports within the Sales Tax Center page, click the Reports dropdown in the Sales Tax page and then select the name of the sales tax report to run in the drop-down menu. You can select either the Tax Liability Report, which shows the sales tax liabilities, Taxable Customer Report, which shows all taxable customers, or Non-Taxable Transaction Review, which lists non-taxable transaction lines. Note that running the Tax Liability or Non-Taxable Transaction Report this way shows year-to-date data by default instead of data for a selected period. To change the date range of the sales tax report to show the data for the desired periods, either use the Report Period dropdown in the upper left corner of the report or enter dates into the adjacent calendar selector fields. Additionally, QuickBooks Online provides a taxable sales detail report that details the sales of taxable products and services to customers and a taxable sales summary report that shows total sales of taxable products and services. These reports are contained in a standard sales tax report category that also contains the sales tax liability report, giving you yet another way to run that report too. To run any of these three sales tax reports, click the Reports link in the navigation bar. If needed, click the Standard tab in the page that opens to the right. Then scroll down through the list of report categories until you find the sales tax report category. You can click the arrow next to the Sales Tax Report category label to expand and collapse this section if needed. To run one of the three reports in this section, click its name within this section to open it in a new page. To return to the report list, click the Back to Report List link in the upper left corner of the Reports page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.